Well, I'm hoping the gun camera picked that up. Um, it all happened quite a bit quicker than I expected. Coming down that little side stream there, and she had been keen, she could tell that he had been there, but we, we lost the direct um, wind anyway. And we were just coming down, and I took a step and I looked down, I see this spiker, frozen, still with a uh, mouthful of leaves in his gob, and we sort of watched each other and I thought, well, He's young, so he's probably dumb, so I've probably got time to turn the gun camera on, so I turned the gun cam on, then shut the bolt, lifted up, and I waited as long as I could before I thought he was going to bolt, and then I squeezed off, so hopefully the gun camera had time to um, leap into action and, and start the recording, but anyway, good size spiker down, which is bloody good, we've probably been going maybe an hour, not quite, and uh, we come up the ridge and then pipped winded off the, the left hand side, so I just went with it and uh, it paid off. It's funny, he's um, not sure if he's just about to cast or what the story is, but he's got one busted uh, pedicle or something. Yeah, he's snapped the base of that one by the look. That one there looks like it's wanting to drop any, oh, not in the not too distant future anyway, but that one there is definitely out, out on, the, on the whack a bit. Funny little head. Oh well. Bloody, he's a good sized spiker. Alright, <clears throat> got the hindquarters just hanging there, cooling down. I'll come back for them later, I think. Got the stakes hanging over across that creek down over there. I've uh, broken the back on the, the walkout. Spring's definitely on its way, it's quite warm and humid, and I'm trying to adjust to it. Pretty losing a bit of sweat, but pretty easy walk anyway. So, just uh, follow this little creek out. Then I'll be back at the truck and on my way home. Watch the All Blacks tonight. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.